y'all, you sexy nerd. Grizzly McBee here. What's up, y'all? Welcome to another Nerds New Sexy Entertainment podcast. Thank you for watching and listening and listening to episode 128. Can you believe it, guys? 128 episodes. I am joined by the one and only Wildfire One. What up, you sexy nerds? And, uh,. We're doing things a bit different this week because uh, in the last few weeks we've added a new member to the crew um, who has been around for quite a while. Drum roll, please. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, please. The one and only Ice Cold 960. There we hey go. guys, Ice Cold 960 here. So the topic for today is an anime that all three of us have watched. Hell yeah. That was really good. Mm-hmm. We've been doing a lot of animes and TV shows too, which is good. Me too, me too. Uh, known as Assassination Classroom. Mm-hmm. One of my top fives. And that's one of those animes that like you start watching and you're like... And I, I think Grizzly said it, like, why the fuck is the the happy emoji like, teaching a classroom? Yeah, what's like, with this happy right, emoji right. that's teaching? I uh, thought it was so stupid, I'm like, kill him? I'm like, is it going to tentacle rape the whole class? Like, what's going on here? Of course you would go there. I'm, I'm not the only one. Fuck you. Trying to try... Don't you, don't you segregate me into that shit. <laughs> of the three of us, you are the only one. Bullshit! I guarantee your dumbass thought about it at one point. No, my whole thing was, why the fuck is there an emoji with tentacles teaching this classroom? I liked, you know, it. it like I said, it's one of those animes you really gotta gotta watch to get into, because at first you're yeah. like, what? What the hell's going on? Like, well, like, why are they trying to shoot them? Yeah, the what? the first episode just basically just, just blows that into proportion, and then it explains, yes, it expra- explains really, like, in an excellent fashion, how they do it. Uh, how many seasons is this? I forget, is it like two? Two. Three, two? It's it. It seemed like a lot of episodes. Hulu has it labeled as two seasons. Okay. Because it is only two. Seasons. So there's a lot of episodes oh, per yeah. season, and it's it it's like, worth uh, twenty three episodes per season. Yeah, and it's definitely yeah. worth a watch. Um, oh, definitely, definitely. It's just one of those animes that at first you got to get past like the little nuances and, and weirdness. You know, kind of like uh, we did with uh, uh, High Score Girl. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm still kind of upset at you about. <laughs> Snooze, you lose. You made me watch that show. Did you like it? Without did, me. Did you like it? Did a podcast did, without me. He's, he's complaining that you did a podcast without him, so yes, you like it. Well, he's here now! Shut your big burly face! That I love so much. I got a big fucking nose. I have my dad's nose. Yeah. <laughs> that is so off. That was out of nowhere. It's like, I got a big nose. <laughs> now that now that I'm right in the middle and not, you know, off to the left where I'm always looking, you know, in the middle and the right, looking at who I'm in the podcast with. Mm-hmm. Now that I'm right in the middle, it's like look left, look right, and holy shit, there's my nose. <laughs> <laughs> You're the focal point. Yeah, it's so. Uh, the first episode, we get to learn about this like alien tentacle emoji. The the squid from yeah. Earth. Yeah, he's a well. Yeah. You think he's at first they, they they kind of they kind of bring him out like he's an alien, but I, I don't think yeah he is. they yeah, bring it they bring the out because yeah. the first episode they say he destroyed the moon. Yes, so no, that makes you think he destroyed seventy percent of the moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they they make it out to be that he did that, where you know in all reality it wasn't even him. It was exactly. Him. It, it, was, it was to be rat. to be fair. It was the stuff that comprised of him. Yeah, but it again, it wasn't him at all. It was a it was rat. rats, and yes. they were afraid that once his well, they they're, they're, they're com- they were comparing the size of the rats in that explosion to the size of him in the potential explosion. And he was a big bitch. Well, no shit. Like. Like, he, he was, was a big as dude. A, he, as, he a was, human, as a human, he was less than six foot tall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But as Octopus Smiley Face, he was 
Seven? Easily seven, seven, because, seven and a half. Because he was, he was as tall as missiles they shot at him. And he can go, like, Mach, what, five or some shit like that? Mach, Mach 20. 20. Mach 20, that's right. Yeah. Which uh, was pretty badass. One of, one of my favorite episodes is when um, when the boys went to space, and mm-hmm. he was pissed off because he could not keep up with yeah. the space rocket. Which, you know, yeah. that, that kind of... Uh, you know, makes you think. You know, if he cared about the Earth and didn't want to destroy it, um, why didn't he just, you know, leave the atmosphere and explode space? He couldn't because you know the fucking speed you would need to leave the atmosphere is better or is higher than what he can go. Well, see, if if you paid close attention to both seasons, he was preparing that all the kids in that classroom were going to get him for future. After the fact, mm-hmm. after he was, they either killed him or they didn't. But he was still preparing them for after junior high. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's and that's what any good teacher would do. Well, they were also really kind of a. They were kind of the the uh, motley crew of classes as well. They, yeah, they were the like you know. Oh, well, let's laugh at them class. E. Yeah, they. they e, were, and they they called it the end class. Yeah. The uh, what do you guys think of like the plethora of students? When I first watched that, I thought that they'd have an issue with us keeping up with each student's storyline. I was like, that's going to be a problem. I, I, I thought that, too. I thought that uh, they were all going to work together as well as they did. Well, especially at first. But then, mm-hmm. like, then they start telling these stories for each, like, almost not each student, but you get to know almost portion. all of them, yes. Well, and each one... Class. Yeah. You know, you even get this... What do you guys think of the AI? Like... Oh. <laughs> that was kind of cool. From Finland? <laughs> Yeah, that was kind of cool. I was like, ah, oh, that's especially after they reprogrammed it. Some smart motherfuckers reprogrammed, and oh, well, it wasn't the students that reprogrammed. It was he the repro- teacher. Uh, well, no, he didn't reprogram her. He just added stuff to her programming. Mm, yeah, he he added uh, like she you know RAM one, and shit. Yeah, she was the one who reprogrammed herself. Mm. Mm-hmm. Because that's she right. Was in, Evolution, an evolutionary. She AI. was, yeah, she was a learning AI. She yeah, says, and she didn't um, reprogram herself until after her creators came and reset. And reset her. her. I like that she was like when she first came into the classroom. She was like basically the Ed Two Hundred Nine of of like that time. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, she's like, yeah, you got five straight, seconds to straight. move, and, <laughs> and uh, yeah, the second attack. You know how teacher, you know, shot away one of the BBs. And, but he didn't predict that there was a second one right behind it for a blind yeah. spot. Yeah. He there was, was some... scared of that thing after that. The, the, yeah, the one that they kept dressing up as a girl. Oh, yeah, yeah Nagisa. Nagisa. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that, in my opinion, that's probably the hero of the show because that's well, the person who kind of, like, grew the most. He is. He, 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 he is. He is the protagonist of the show. Yeah. And, and they built him wonderfully, in my opinion. Oh, I agree, hundred oh, yeah. um, percent. It was good to see that per- that particular person grow, like to like that no no real confidence to like having all the confidence and being an actual really to, good to be to be able to actually go up against uh, a, a better and win and yeah without batting an eye. Like, yeah, it's. So, and not, not just go up against better, but also to, without hesitation, kind of take over a space station. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was that, that was a really cool He's episode. An eighth grader, right? Smallest, mm-hmm. smallest guy in the class. And yeah, they were, quote unquote, being trained to be assassins. But for a runt eighth grader to, throughout those two seasons, take out four highly trained assassins. It's very impressive. I mean, they even I think they even some of those assassins even yeah. said that there's so much potential within that kid. That, oh yeah, yeah fucking yeah. um cuz there was, you know, the Grim Reaper, there was what Was uh, those the wannabe Grim Reaper? Well, they bestowed the title of Grim Reaper to those they seem fit. It can yeah. have a huge body count. He earned the title of Grim Reaper because he had a huge title count or you should uh, I still call him the wannabe because the original Grim Reaper was still alive. Yeah. But we didn't know that. Yeah, but you don't find that out until... Much later, but still. But still. 
five episodes from the end. <laughs> yeah. Which, by the way, great story oh, arc. Sh- great story arc. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let me ask you. Of all the students, which one threw you for the biggest loop? The fucking green, long-haired, green-haired girl. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah, most definitely. the That, that, was, in, that in story. A, a child actress who... Mr. Smiley himself, the Koro Sensei, who she thought killed him or killed his her sister, um, her, her sister. older sister, who was the original was teacher of that class, the original teacher with, of that class. Yeah, who, who was he was in fact in love with her older sister. Yeah, it just goes to show you that there's always another story. There's always more mm-hmm. to the story than you know, and that's that's a great sentiment to that like a great uh, a great way of looking at that yeah yep yeah, and in the end you know she kind of finds a love of her own and it's cute as hell oh yeah <laughs> but he decides you know we, he's gonna be yeah he's gonna be a teacher but to be fair the, you know if there's another whole anime based off of it you know continuing on they could get together. Honestly, in my yeah, head, I like to think like they got he, together anyway. Well, yeah, yeah, well, because, in a sense, she admitted to him and he admitted to her. Mm-hmm. That they loved each other. Um, And they probably wouldn't make it public because she's an actress, you know? True. And the fact that he was the one that drove the knife into Koro Sensei. Mm-hmm. Spoiler alert. Which, 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 let's let's you know talk I mean? about it, that. They, they switch it into a big old love triangle between two students and a teacher. Which, let's talk about that. That heartbreaking scene. You're going right to the... I almost the... threw my phone. I almost threw my phone. <laughs> you're going right to I, the, the sad place. You're, you're going skipping. I almost, I almost straight up punched my monitor by the end of this anime of by the end of this anime you are so into these stories you're so into the main like the teacher the, the character sensei the teacher you're into in in like um, it, it feels like you're doing it it feels like you're like, the one like they 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 you know come up with the idea of we can save him we will save him up to that point where holy shit we can't so, but that, just so you once, know, once that sinks in. Just so you know, because we did skip quite a bit, they had to kill him. They had a year to kill him, or the world end of the world would happen. Mm-hmm. And that's what the these students were told. Explode. Yeah, the world was going to explode because they thought that that uh, Coral Sensei was uh, more the or less why the moon. Yeah, is dust. No, <laughs> the, the the Japanese government and the who told the rest of the world. Well, he even mm-hmm. said it at one point just to motivate them. They're a normal class, but they just have an extra curriculum, assassination. And there's a lot in between the part we're getting ready to talk about now. Like, there's there's a lot that gets you to love these characters. There's a lot that gets you to love um, the the teacher, Kuro Sensei. And there's a mm-hmm. lot that gets you to, like, get behind them. Like, you want, you really want their... You to, want him to live. You want a happy ending. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ice Cold. You were talking about the end. This is really sad ending. How, like... It was literally, we have to do this because if they didn't do it, the government was going to do it for them, and they lose the incentive then. Yeah, the incentive, the incentive was, billion was $10 billion to kill him. Um, They had to kill him before the big giant space laser killed him and everyone around him. I'd kill Grizzly for $10 million. Just, just saying. I would kill you both for $5 million if all right. No one's talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, you know it's cool. Your guys' friendship is more than money, all right? So, fuck both of you. I hope you die horrible Hey, guys. hey, hey, I'm going to bring you back. <laughs> I'll die rich. I'll just clone your ass. I'll pull, I'll pull Star Wars. Pull Star. You'll die rich and alone with no friends. <laughs> so, the very the very end, basically, is, is about what you expect. They, mm-hmm. you know, shit happens. Stuff leads up to a point where they have to assassinate him, and that they, they would have lost their. Uh, Is it where, where they literally, so they have him pinned down, and they're like, "Okay, we have to do it. Who's going to do it?" No one speaks up. No one. 
And all of a sudden, the little Nagisa, you know, the little shy guy says, you know, I'll do it. I'll do it. And the whole time and we're he, thinking. He, he, all, the whole time, him, the you know, entire classroom, and you, the viewer, are crying. Oh, yeah. If you're not, you have no soul. Well, I have no soul to begin with, but... But I'm just saying, that that was a very sad scene. Like, I oh was, my God. I was even choking back a little bit. Especially with the heart-wrenching scream that the character does. And the voice acting and just, in the and, show was amazing. And just to watch the particles of Koro Sensei just float away. Yeah. Yeah. It was a very magical scene, if it wasn't so sad. Yeah. And then they became. Then he became a uh, Star Wars ghost. And... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, to be honest, you know, the good, the one good thing about him dying, sad enough to say, is that he was able to meet back with. Uh, oh yeah. With the girl he loved, uh, the I teacher. Can't remember. Yeah, the person he loved. Plus, I couldn't remember her name. <laughs> and that's and that is good. I mean, there's there's it's it was a really sad goodbye like. It, yeah. yeah, it really was. He knew it was coming. They were kind of off and on, like, "Oh, we, we can, we can, we, we might have to do this, but we can do this. We can fix it. We, 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 we don't we, have we to, try to. We could try to save him. And once they get to the point where they actually try to save him, the government steps in and d- tries to do it for him, which made them have to do it themselves. Well, the government continued to try. They wanted that ten million dollars and or ten billion dollars anyway. They, I mean, yeah. they were making like little versions. I mean, that that's one of the things about the show that really got on my nerves is, is like they kept like, look, this is uh, aliens face space guy 2.0, go Wait, get him. To be, to be fair, um, the guy in white, you know, Cloud White, yeah, wasn't uh, employed by the government at that point. That was just him wanting revenge for what, he, what. Was yeah, but they were still using him. him. Exactly. He, yeah, he wanted recognition. Yeah, mm-hmm. a lot of people wanted Smiley Face dead. And I another thing I liked is is the fact that if like and they they tell you about this earlier on, if he did something you liked, his face would change like colors and oh, polka God. dots yeah. and and like it, he couldn't hide his emotions. It was fucking awesome. Fucking yeah, the the most terrifying one was when his face went all black. That's when he. That's yeah. when he's mad, right? Or really pissed that's off. That's when he was utterly pissed. Yeah. And what actually scared me was when he used that face against his class. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, that fucking mask guy keeps coming around and like, oh, here's here's you 3.0 and 2.0 and and fuck that oh, guy. Yeah. Oh, oh, you mean the Reaper? <laughs> fuck that. Oh guy. God. Yeah. Fuck the Reaper. Fuck that guy. I can't stand that. And yeah, look, there you go. There's another cool plot twist that was the Reaper all along. It yeah, was the yeah, other fucking, Reaper. Fucking where Core Sensei, yeah. you know, come to find out Core Sensei was in of itself the original Reaper. Yeah. yeah. And then and then he And that's, and that's why he was chosen to um, be the, you know, part of that experiment. He wasn't an alien at all. He was an he experiment was that was more or less caught and fucked and they just fucked him over. What, well, what that's why he fucked over the laboratory. <laughs> is that, you know, going from a career assassin, you know, the best assassin in the world, to falling in love with this scientist slash school teacher. teacher. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then promising to teach us help, this class. help better these kids' life um, through teaching. But that story was great too. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That was a very good, like almost, almost like a, a good character arc slash like tale of redemption for him. Yeah, yeah. You know, he wasn't all an ass, all a bad guy. And the voice actor who played Koro Sensei, yeah, it was definitely gets a clap. Top notch. Really good. Um, so I don't think that's him. I don't know. Was it okay? But the the voice acting was superb. Uh. He did a very good job. All the voice acting in that was good. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you know, let me let me make a correlation between you know the person this you know the actor or the character this person voice acted for and another one that his life was you know cut short okay. drastically. He did a vo- uh, English voice for Maze Hughes. Okay. From Full Metal Alchemist. Oh. 
That was a he did good in that too. That was the the look at my daughter guy, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at my daughter. Look at my daughter. It was sucked when he died. It, exactly. He, so he has two things to his name that will make you cry if you watch the scenes. Well, there, <laughs> right. there's probably right. more there. The guy is obviously a fucking amazing voice well, actor. Well, I mean, he did Krillin. Really? Yeah. That's awesome, bro. Yeah, he was the OG Krillin uh, up to recent. The guy is talented. That's all I got to say. Oh, like, hell yeah. Super talented. It, that that scene alone, it was good to have to see. Uh, and I'm sure he's done other other shows where he was kind of like the, the lead, but it was good to see him be a lead and let his like chops, his acting chops just fucking shine. Yeah, so so that guy, he was a very good voice actor. Um, mm. All of them, actually. I don't have one complaint about the voice. No. And the animation style is amazing in this one, too, with the exception of... Oh, it, of, it oh, yeah. is. It's brilliant. With the exception of a giant squid, squid the puss head emoji. <laughs> you know, like, it's... Uh, that, that being the only exception. You don't want the show to end at all. Yeah, it's it's like one of those um, it's like one of those good games you play and you're like you're, I don't want this I don't want to stop I don't want to stop and because mm-hmm. like you're losing your best friends. Oh, definitely, definitely. What about you, Grizz? What were you? What was some of your favorite parts? Well, one of my favorite parts was the last episode. Uh, you know, everybody gets their money. You know, they do their whole 15 minutes of fame that they didn't really want. But one thing that they all agreed on was a good portion of that money was going to go to buying the school that they all graduated from. Yeah, the mm-hmm. class class E. Yeah. Yeah. The, the and, whole uh, mountain. Yes. Yeah, they bought the entire mountain. Yeah. And, you know, it shows just about all of the class there, you know, cleaning it up, spiffing it up. And I was thinking, okay, you know. Where's uh, Nagisa? <laughs> Nagisa said he was going to be a teacher. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's going to be teaching at this school, but he never shows up. You hear and about they him. Show him in this adult school, <laughs> as, you know, fresh out of teaching. School they're 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 teacher. fucking picking on him, and kind of like they did with kind of like they did with with you know the Squidworth guy at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, just big burly biker you know, hooligans and, you know, they all surround him and say, you know, we're going to kill you. We're, we're going to kill you then he and pulls then he the just assassination. Him like a <laughs> bad habit and is like, okay. I'll, you've got yeah, to leave him to be here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, like what he, I like what he does. I like to call what he does the crazy eye because he does like this he looks at him and he's like, no fucks given. Like, I think they even mentioned that it's in some of the episodes. He, he, he does the whole yeah, he just he eyes you down and smiles like well, good motherfucker. Down and smiles, it just sh- shivers down your spine. It was very good. It was very awesome. Um, and that was it was a very good ending to the anime, even though you know Kuro Sensei died, and mm-hmm. we really we, we, the whole time you're like no, but it was a very good like finisher. Like we get to see what happens to the kids and mm-hmm. what happened what happened to some of the others. Because what do we, how many of you guys were like? Rooting for that blonde chick and the fucking other teacher, like from the government, to fucking yes. get together. I yeah. was rooting for that the entire. I was time shipping I those motherfuckers hard. And yes, then, and then at the end, oh man, uh, where he's like, okay, well, you know, if my wife just wants to sit home and not do fucking nothing, no, it, it, you know, yeah, if, if my else. wife wants to sit home do nothing, you know. Um, I thought, you know, I, I had faith in you that you could do it if you just want to sit at home and do nothing. <laughs> and she's like, no, 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 I can do it. Have faith in me. Professor Please bitch. Go, let me go. <laughs> That's what they kept calling her, Professor, Professor bitch, bitch. Which was yeah. hilarious. Come to find out, she was only like, what, 22 or something? No, she was only 20. 20, yes, that's it. Which I believe... But had like the third most amount of kills... Which yeah. I believe the the guy who played her the eventually became her husband was played by Steve Bloom. Yeah, yeah. That, that you can always tell when that guy is playing a voice. You just like, oh god, mm-hmm. I know that voice. Even if he tries to like tweak it a little bit. Okay, so so completely off topic about voice actors, right? Mm-hmm. I watched um, Avatar: The Last Airbender, the anime again. Mm-hmm. 
didn't realize until the second time around that um, Prince Zuko, Rufio from fucking Peter Pan. Yeah. <laughs> Good. That that you know what? Good for that reference. Good job, Grizz. Rufio. Oh. What about you, Ice Cold? What's your favorite episode? I feel like my favorite episode, or moment at least, was when they made that giant thing of pudding. Yeah. Me, me, yeah, because that she put her heart and soul into that. You kind of got to learn a little more about that specific character too, which was kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, mine, most definitely, uh, the the episode where you get to kind of see the crazy side of the bully character, like where he almost Asuna? where he fails. Yeah, Asuna, where he fails for the first time. Oh yeah, the principal mm. son. Yes. Like it, it, it you. And I like the fact that it kind of, it kind of pushed him to go harder and like better mm. himself and, and get better in the future. I thought that was really fucking I, awesome. I did like how they represented the, uh, exam questions as like you know, video Bells. game bites. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought that was fucking cool. Like each each question was a different monster. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was badass. That was very interesting. Well, not way not just each it. question; it was um, each category. Yeah. Yep. Each um, topic. Yeah. Was a different monster, and it was showing who was struggling and who was not. And it mm-hmm. was actually really, it was a really cool way of going about it. I actually, you know, it's sad. I'm sad that I never thought about that, like in high school or when I was in school. <laughs> Because in my head, I probably would have never did the test. I'd just been, you know, like they'd have been like, "Wild, uh, why aren't you done with the test?" Sorry, I'm, I'm battling a monster. I'm battling math. <laughs> I'm battling math. No, I, I was always real good in math. And anytime, you know, it was going to be a math quiz or whatever, I would take my Game Boy. And, you know, especially during finals, there's like 200 questions or whatever, 200 problems. Mm-hmm. You got two hours to do it. I'd be done in like 45 minutes. And then I'd just sit there on my Game Boy. For, for a test like that? I'd always be literally the first one to finish. You'd be like, hey, I go to, like, Media Center. Sure. i just fucking end up sleeping down there because they had some nice, comfy bean bags. i just sit there. <laughs> You're the boring one. No, I, yeah. I didn't learn how to read until I started working with him. <laughs> You're giving me too much credit. I still don't know how to read, you dumb bitch. If a serial killer and a doctor made a baby, he would write like that. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys had to rate... Uh, this particular anime, what would you rate it? Ooh, I'd say probably... I'd say an 8 or a 9. Yeah, I'd say probably 9 out of 10. I'll give it like 8.5. It 8. could have been better. The only way that it could have been better is if Koro Sensei lived. If they found it a, a great way to make him live, though. Like, it had to be, exactly. like, immaculate. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. exactly. 8.5 for me. I think that it's almost a 9, but it's... It's if it had a happier ending, if I didn't like tear up well, and choke again, back. Well, again, if if it had happened, it wouldn't have hit you so hard. Well, it was just good writing. It was just amazing very writing. Very good writing. Mm-hmm. Very good writing. It's on Hulu. If we I, ever I see watched it. it in three days. So Grizz Grizz watched and finished it, and we just talked. We we're just talking about it, and I was like, you know what? We should do a podcast on that. Mm-hmm. If you guys are interested in watching it, it's on Hulu. It's uh, it's two seasons. It's friggin' amazing. If you guys love anime, I would say definitely check it out. Definitely. If there is an anime that you want us to watch, um, make sure that it is dubbed because there I mean, was one all... that was um, suggested to me a while back that um, is only in Japanese. Which one was that? Um, I don't even remember because I watched about 30 seconds of the first one, realized there um, were no subtitles and it was not dubbed anywhere. Mm. And I have an up. idea. Well, what's this idea? Because, you know, since I actually prefer subbed over dubbed animes, the viewers could maybe suggest the animes to me and I could write my own review on it. Not a bad idea. Or, you or do you your own video of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, give him, give him the shit that isn't in English. Cause Hell, I'll even watch German anime. That's some really interesting shit. Yeah, but that's also uh, considered porn. Poop on my chest! Shiza! Shiza! No, no. 999. Nine, 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 nine. 
<laughs> that's called hentai. That's a whole different topic, all right? Uh, yeah, we are not going to be reviewing that on this channel. I mean... Uh, I mean, I might review it on mine. <laughs> I mean, we talked about all, we've talked about all sorts of crazy shit on this channel. I mean, how, hentai wouldn't be the worst thing. Oh, my God. How, how, we, how far we have fallen. <laughs> But uh, okay, guys, I think that's it. Uh, we got what an, an eight, an eight point five, and a nine. As yeah. far as mm -hmm. check it out, it's on Hulu. If not, find it any other which way you can. Uh, no judgment. Find, yeah, but check it out. It's a it's a worthwhile anime. We didn't really go through all of the beautiful things in this show, but there's just so much to go through. Mm -hmm. Favorite character, go. The bully. Asano. Yes. Okay. Nice. I would say the AI. She was helpful. And I'd bone her. Oh, yeah. She was cute. <laughs> yeah, I'd bone her. <laughs> well, I have two. It's okay. Nagisa and Karma. Okay. And anti-hero and protagonist. Yeah. Each one of yeah. these each one of these characters had, like, the baseball guy. I liked him, too. He was a close second for me. Oh, God, yeah. Like, How he ended up being, you know, an actual, uh, you know, scouted by Major But he didn't, he didn't have any, like, confidence at first. And, you know, Kuro-sensei was like, hey, stop it. You know, you, you're, you're better than you think you are, B. You, you know, he basically, he literally said, you're trying to copy someone, mm -hmm. and your body is not made for that. Be Find yourself. your own way. Because your body is made to be a million times better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he he was very, and I like that about Coral Sensei was, you know, and if I did, if I can do two, my second would be Coral Sensei because he was all about like that. His students. Well, well, he was not just the students. Everything he did was uh, even his silliness and his perviness. Everything he did mm -hmm. was positive for the most yeah. part. In the situation he was in, he was very, very positive. Oh, he was. Yes. Yes. You know, you, if you know you're going to die in a year and you're like, Woo, come on, children, let's do this, that, and the other thing. And we're going to go to okay, Japan and not, we're going to go. Maybe not that voice. No, no, but but he was, he had that in, enthusiasm and it was, and, it and was like good. You said, like you said before, he was preparing them for after he passed. Yeah, like Grizz had mentioned. And, 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 you know, he did a really damn good job of that because they all exceeded their original expectations. Well, their original mm -hmm. expectations were down here. Like way down there, and they didn't have expectations for themselves because they kept being told that they were nothing. Yeah, even mm -hmm. the school told them they were losers, and it would, which is even better. Well, the best part was when they defeated like the tippy top of the best class. Mm -hmm. They defeated the preps. Yeah. yeah, fuck that guy, the principal's son. I like the prince, president. God damn it, principal's son. Towards the end, I thought he was really cool because he kind of like they kind of had that mutual respect towards the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the principal was just a dick through and through. Oh, God, he was. <laughs> we'll definitely see you guys next week. Till then, guys, we want you to stay nerdy. Stay sexy. Always.